Welcome to the BI Publisher Extensibility Training. In this lesson, I will demonstrate how to create a report layout, including creating some sample data, copying and amending an existing report, and then creating and uploading a new RTF layout. First of all, navigate to the catalog on your BIP server. Next, navigate to the web catalog hierarchy to find a data model for the report that you wish to modify. We'll use this data model to generate the XML for the sample data. When you have navigated to the data model, click on Edit. Once you have opened up the data model, click on the Get XML Output button located in the top right hand corner. This will open a screen which allows you to run the data model. Enter appropriate values for all the parameters, select the number of rows that you wish to be returned and then click on the Run button. In this lesson, we are choosing the option Export XML, which will save the XML to a local directory, allowing us to use it later with the RTF Template Builder. Alternatively, if you wish to use the Online Template Builder, you can choose the option Save as Sample Data. Choose the local directory where you wish to save the XML, then click on Save. Now that you have saved the XML, the next step is to make a copy of the report. To do this, Navigate to the catalog. Navigate to the report. Once you have navigated to the report, click on the icon to select the report. Once the report is selected, click on the copy button. Then click on the paste button to copy the report. Click on the newly created report and then navigate down to the rename link so you can change the name to something more meaningful. In the pop-up window, enter the new name for the report and then click on the rename button. Some reports are configured to view only through an external application or through the Oracle Enterprise Scheduler. If you wish to view your report online while you are customising it, click on Edit to change the report properties. Once the report is open, click on the Properties button. Check the options Run Report Online and Show Controls and then click OK. Once you have created your custom report in the BIP catalogue, the next step is to create your custom RTF layout. To do this, open up Microsoft Word. A prerequisite for this step is to ensure that you have the Template Builder for Word add-in installed. Once installed, you can navigate to the Template Builder for Word add-in via the Microsoft Word menu. If you did not already have the Template Builder for Word add-in installed, then you can download it from the home page of your BIP server. The first step when creating a new RTF layout is to load some sample data via the BI Publisher add-in. Select the sample data that you created earlier. Once the sample XML data has been loaded, you won't see any visible changes to the RTF layout, but now you can use the sample data to start adding in headers and other fields. So first of all, we'll add in a header which will store the title for the report. In this example, we're just adding a plain text header. We're not actually using any of the fields from the sample XML data. Having navigated back to the main body of the RTF layout, you can now start adding fields 
and tables via the BI Publisher add-in. In this example I've chosen to add a table. You can drag and drop any fields or groups that you wish to see in a report from the data source side to the template side. The preview window shows you how the report's going to look. For the purposes of this demonstration I'm just going to create a simple customer listing. Therefore I'm going to drag the group customer across to the template side. There are some fields under the customer group that I didn't want to appear in the report. Therefore I have deleted these from the template side, leaving just three fields, customer number, customer name and customer VAT reg number. Having clicked OK, you can now see the changes reflected in your RTF layout. Once you are happy with the report layout, you should save the document. It's important that you save the layout as an RTF. Once you have saved your document, it's possible to preview the report using the sample data that you loaded earlier. In this case, we're previewing the report as a PDF. Microsoft Word will then generate a PDF document using the sample data that you loaded. Once you are happy with your report layout, you can upload it to the BIP server under the new custom report that you've just created. Once you have uploaded the report, it's possible to run the report and view the output in the new layout. In the Run Report screen, enter appropriate values for all the parameters. You can view your new report by clicking on the tab corresponding to your new custom report layout. If you would like your new custom report layout to be the default chosen, you can do this by navigating to the viewer list link in the top right hand corner. Once you've checked the default layout option, save the report. That is the end of the demonstration on how to create some sample data, copy and amend an existing report, and to create and upload a new RTF layout.